what do you think about time travel? We already have time travel to the future with astronauts. Uh, they will be older than us on Earth because time slows for them. So do you think we will be able to travel uh, past or in the past? You know, it's a funny thing, time travel, because I think we time travel every single day um, with our emotions, with our thoughts, with our feelings. We either dwell in the future or we dwell in the past. And this is why I appreciate meditation so much, because it is focusing on being in the future. You know, it's debatable when you look at quantum entanglement uh, and quantum physics, um, whether, you know, if, if our consciousness is energy and we are um, able to, you know, in prayer is a form of quantum entanglement or the science of the science of prayer is quantum entanglement. Um, I do think that, you know, if we would uh, come come into come in touch with the moment. Right. Um, and come like be in touch with ourselves, our being, our mind, our consciousness so much that we would have control over things like quantum entanglement, I think it would be possible to travel um, wherever we wanted. Uh, and, and I'm just basing this on the science of quantum entanglement um, because there's, there's so many things that could possibly be explained with quantum entanglement. And when I look at meditation and like, especially the things that I was just talking about, how we constantly time travel with our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, we're constantly dwelling on the past, dwelling on the future. And we never actually just rest being in the present. For me personally, as someone who meditates every single day, I say that, and then I didn't meditate yesterday, but mostly every single day, as someone who meditates every single day and practices mindfulness and being in the moment, the more connected I feel with doing that, with practicing being in the moment, the more connected I feel with myself and my the awareness of my environment. And since doing that, lucid dreaming for me has picked up quite a bit. Um, and so there's even, uh, I received these emails um, from uh, this lucid dreaming website that I signed up for emails, uh, for, they had like a course on lucid dreaming. It's good stuff. I, world of lucid dreaming. Um, but I get these emails and one of the emails was talking about quantum consciousness that, uh, science says that our consciousness might actually be connected to, uh, on a quantum level, those, the particles, the, uh, elements like in quantum, uh, entanglement. And so I do think that with the science of it, looking at quantum consciousness and quantum entanglement, that there is a possibility. I don't know if physically um, traveling in time, but I think that if our consciousness um, is able to be anywhere, is able to leave our body, you know, having out of body experiences, you know, I, I've seen videos on people equating consciousness to the soul or to the spirit or whatever. Um, but I do think that if quantum consciousness, quantum entanglement. I, I think that as I practice meditation, and this is just my opinion, maybe this is science. I don't know. I haven't actually looked into it that much, this specific thing that much, but I do think that the more somebody were to come in touch with themselves, I do think that it would be possible um, to enter into those realms of consciousness where you would be able to travel in time. Really weird, really trippy, but those are my thoughts. Whether that's reality and that's the case, you know, I, I'm waiting to experience it myself. But I do think that there is a possibility of it, even looking at the science of it.